What's going on YouTube animators? It's your boy Classic TV. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. And now that you've seen that, it's just a technique that I've seen that I've known about for years that I just wanna spread my knowledge to you guys so you guys can take it, flip it, engineer, it, do whatever you gotta do with it. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so for the first thing that I wanna talk about is, you know, what I'm gonna use today is um, actually this right here. So I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna take this part of the water and we're gonna take this part of the water. I'm gonna put one here, one here on this side. And then, you know, we're gonna make our own background in Flash and then uh, probably add uh, let me see probably gonna add this and kind of somewhat recreate this and just show how it would look when it's animated fully and here we are this is gonna be like an intermediate to advanced kind of tutorial so I'm not really gonna go over like what's my stage and all that stuff so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have four layers right so we're gonna have the camera layer the stage the water and the background and I already went ahead and put everything in Flash already. We just gotta make sure that these are not on allow smoothing and make sure it's a lossless PNG GIF because if it's not like that, then that means it's gonna come out looking garbage and we wanna stay as far away from that as we can. So first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to the water layer, hit that keyframe and put this here. And you know, we could just align that to the middle and we could take this put this on the side that will just snap nice like that let me see this how does that look does that look good like that or should i flip it so i'm just gonna flip it horizontally uh i kind of think it looks better like that so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to copy that paste it and I'm gonna flip that the opposite direction so it kind of matches up with uh, this side here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these, highlight them, and then I'm gonna break them. So I'm gonna break them with Control B and it'll become like one whole, well, it'll be broken together, they'll still be split apart, but it'll just make things a lot easier to do. So. We're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into a symbol. So we're gonna right click, go to convert to symbol. Uh, we could just call this uh, water animation. Oops. So water animation, right? So now we go in here and then we work inside the symbol itself. We're gonna make, um, just to not confuse myself, I'm gonna name this. So I'm gonna name this, uh, water background and then we're going to also apply a mask i'm just going to name this mask and name this uh water inside and i'll, I'll get to that in a minute you don't don't even worry about that now that we have this here what we're gonna do is copy and then we're gonna make sure we lock this. Like that's a big detail. Uh, lock it, go to mask, and then we're gonna paste this like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mask. So when you make a mask, you can go down here and click mask, and then you see the layer behind it will automatically be inside the mask. So what a mask is, is when you have a layer, right? And let me just uh, take this real quick. So when you have a layer and let's say I want to make this, um, uh, make this red, right? Oh, it did it for me. So make this red, grab the selection tool up here. I didn't do anything. So let me just take this out. So I didn't do anything with the original background. I just took it because I needed it to be the exact same dimensions, right? So I close this and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the, um, rectangle tool, whatever we're going to go like this, right? We're going to create a like super thin, super thin line, right? Well, not super thin, but you know what I mean? Um, we're going to zoom in on this. And because I put this on the same layer as the mask, whatever it does on this layer is going to affect what's below it, right? So if I do this, 
and I zoom in, right? Because this is what, this is what we want to do. We want to we kind of want to make this mask uh, like split apart, and I'll show you what I'm gonna what I mean by that. So we're gonna do this like this. I want it to be that thick, right? So we're gonna take that. We're gonna deselect by select, selecting outside of it, and then we're gonna select it again, and then we're gonna hit Shift. Move down twice. All right. So whatever that goes on, that will automatically delete that. We're just going to keep doing that. Right. Just keep doing it. And we're going to do it for the whole thing. I'm probably going to make this super fast and do it fast forward. So I'll, I'll start it now. Now that I did that, I did that all the way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be like exactly as long as you can reach the bottom of the square then or rectangle. We should be good. We're going to take that rectangle that's in the mask. We're going to highlight it from the keyframe on the timeline. And then we're gonna right click and we're gonna also turn that into a symbol. Just call that mask. All right. And then one thing you wanna do is you wanna hit the um, free transform tool. And let me just back up on that and grab this anchor and put it right here. That's where you need that. And that's the best place to have it for now because we're gonna have to uh, move this later. Um, so the next step is I'm gonna lock that and then I'm gonna just take that out the way and I'm gonna open this layer again, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna paste this. I'm gonna lock that first and then I'm gonna paste this in the water inside of the mask, all right? So what we're gonna do now is, let's see. We could do the same thing with adding this to an anchor here, and then we're gonna make this slightly smaller, right? Yeah, we're gonna make this slightly smaller. And then uh, the uh, easy way to not make it snap and you can control it is to just go here and then just unclick these two and you can kind of like move it wherever you want. So we're gonna try to go for uh, about here seems cool to me. So then I'll just move this back to the middle. You don't have to move it. I just do that because I got like OCD or whatever. Um, Cause that has nothing to do with like the animation itself. So you can already kind of see the, the beginnings of what the animation can and will look like. Um, but let's kind of just start with the animation portion of it. All right, so now that we have everything down, let me go back into the, uh, the water layer and I'm going to unlock the mask. So what this mask is doing is it's the, the layer that's under it is what's being shown with the red, if that makes any sense. So if I lock this layer and I lock this layer, you, you can't, you see the mask, but then if I open this up and I make this transparent, Everything that's between those lines, that's what's being shown under. So we made the image slightly smaller. So when we scroll this, which is what we're about to do, it's gonna give the illusion that the water is moving forward and it's gonna stop and then it's gonna go back up. What I'm going to do is I'm probably gonna have this go to about 125, right? Cause we need this to, to flow and be long. So it kind of makes sense. So it looks like the, the water is moving like the actual ocean. I'm going to take this, make a keyframe, and then I'm going to make a classic tween and I'm going to uncheck this. Um, and now what we're going to do is on this keyframe is we're going to move this. This is where the anchor comes into play. It stays at the top. So we're going to move this. And we're going to move it not like super crazy like this, but we're going to move it probably like, let's say, let's say right here. All right. So now this whole thing will move like this. And then once I lock this, you'll be able to see what's going on under it. So you see how it does that. It's moving. So you let it play and it's moving. It kind of looks like it's moving to the right for some reason. All right, guys, my bad. I messed up something, but what you have to do is you have to go inside. And what I failed to say was when you go inside and you do the water, 
and you paste it onto this layer, what you want to do is instead of just pasting it, you want to press control shift and paste. So you paste it in place. So it's not like a little to the right or a little to the left or whatever. It's just in the same exact spot as, as the last water background. So you just want to do that. And then you want to lift it up a little, a little high. So it's like a, like a nice sizable gap like that. And then, um, after that, we kind of have the whole beginnings of the animation. So it just looks like that. I think that looks pretty nice so far. So what we're going to do to kind of continue on this animation is we're going to add about, let's see, uh, two frames. We're going to add two frames. And then on the third one, we're going to add a keyframe, right? And then because I have this at 125, we're going to end up going to uh, make this also 125 frames. So I got in my notes here. Um, let me see. And at frame 252. So let's, let's take that right there. Bam. All right. So 252, make a keyframe and then also just add this right here. So it's two frames just like previously. And I'm going to add this, make a classic tween. And I'm going to go to the last frame. And what we do here is we literally just take the mask and put it back to where we had it before. So if you have the, the magnet thing on, it should just snap back into place. So we just do that and then we play it and then we have our water moving. And actually, I, I think that looks pretty good as is, to be honest. But just to add a little bit more realism, we're going to add a uh, uh, ease, a classic ease. So with the classic ease for the first part, we're going to add I want to say uh, 50 to the ease. Yeah, we're going to do 50. And then for the second half, we're going to do negative 20. So depending on, you know, what you want to do and how this is going to come out for you when you make it, you might want to adjust that. So just do it to your liking. But for, for, for this sake and for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to do it like this. We are going to watch that real quick. See how that looks. So it just gives it that realism that it's actually slowing down and then it just comes back and goes to the front and looks good to me. Now we're just going to play the video. And I think I think that looks solid. That's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. And before you go, I want to know in the comments down below, what would you like to see from me in terms of tutorials? And also the sprites I use in this video, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll also link the SWF file in the description down below as well. And the only thing I got to say is if you aren't subscribed, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you didn't know, now you know. Peace.